Hey yo, I'm Chicky and welcome back to another Apex Legends video where today we're going to be taking a look at the first of many trailers to come out with the new upcoming season named Boosted. And I'm sure many of you have already watched the trailer and are just as hyped as I am for our new Legend Rampart. But for this video, we're going to be going through the trailer frame by frame to break it down so we don't miss any details that some people may have glazed over after watching it once. And what I found is some really strong possible abilities that Rampart may have, as well as some theories for the next couple trailers. So starting with what you first end up seeing on the screen when you start the trailer is what, what I presume as a very high view of the horizon of World's Edge. But it's very difficult to say because we only have one identifying aspect and that's in this scene where we see the crack sphere and it really resembles the dome in World's Edge. What we also see in this scene is that we see the word Hammond stretched along the side of the rocket and as far as I know there isn't a rocket set up in World's Edge just yet so we can expect the rocket being the focal point of the new World's Edge map after the update. Because we have seen a lot of teasers from these last couple days for like these rocket thrusters or something along those lines spread throughout world's edge now moving on to this scene we then cut to an angle where we then pan down the side of the rocket where we then see both lava and ice which is very reminiscent of world's edge so here we can further conclude that this is not the new map that everybody was anticipating however this is the first trailer and there are specific things that were left out of this trailer that we could end up seeing in the next couple trailers or so such as the new map because what we also see left out of this trailer are some very key aspects with some of the more obvious once being the new weapon that wasn't featured in this video as well as anything related to the new battle pass that's coming out this season such as skins or the new hollow sprays that we're getting and we also didn't see anything about the new crafting system that they're trying to implement this season which is something that i presume would be something they put a lot of work into to fit into apex so why wouldn't they feature it well it's just like we didn't see the new weapon or the new map and i truly do feel as though they're going to be teased as we get closer to the release of season six and then some more small things not everyone picked up on is that loba is nowhere to be found inside the trailer and i feel as though this was done on purpose due to a specific frame that we'll get into later in the video but for now we're gonna move on to the next couple scenes starting with mirage getting blown away by the grenade and then moving on to gibraltar laying out octane with his shield nothing too interesting here but this transition right here where they have the smoke fade into revenant's face with his burning yellow eyes that looks so similar to the embers throughout the entire video it was so seamless and was probably my second most favorite part of this trailer but before we get a chance to move on too far in the next couple frames i gotta point out quite a few different things with some speculation and then some others we have some more proof now my first theory is is that what we see right here with the bullets from and i presume is sheila we see it piercing through revenant and we do have weapons like this in apex such as the triple take but we have nothing like this on the fully automatic weapon and we'll get into a later scene where we actually see the bullets piercing once again which only backs up the idea even more that sheila's rounds will be piercing rounds and with that we can see some really interesting interactions again this is just me speculating and there's probably overpowered honestly but what we could see is the bullets piercing through shields such as lifeline or gibraltar's dome again this is probably overpowered af but that really could shake everything up do i even agree with the idea that i have no not really but i just wanted to throw it out there and see what you guys think because maybe with the new crafting mechanic it will allow you to upgrade your shields and your armor to allow the piercing rounds to not be able to pierce you but we'll just have to see about that when we get into season six okay moving on to the next couple frames we then see what we can probably presume is rampart's tactical where she puts down a wall that has a shield over the top half that i'm guessing will increase the damage when shot from behind kind of like anyone that's played titanfall 2 with the amped wall but then something to take note of is with the amped wall from titanfall we see it's a thrown shield that is completely shoot throughable and what the developers did to better balance this i believe is that they only allow the top half of the shield to be shoot throughable and what this does is not completely allow teams to dominate the high ground due to the angles that would be limited by the shield and something else to point out is that rampart's logo is actually on the front of the shield which just further purchases the idea that this is rampart's tactical and something else that's just speculation which i'm also not 100 percent with but what if the bullet to hit the shield are actually absorbed into the shield and are given to Sheila as ammunition after whatever initial ammo she has. Now this is just something I'm throwing out there and I just wanted to see your guys' opinion. Oh and one more thing that I have to mention I'm sorry there's a lot but it's just a question that I have for you guys. How much health do you think the shield has? Or do you think it's something that doesn't have a health pool? Personally I do think that it will have a health pool and Rampart will have to be near the shield to repair it. But once again we'll just have to see when season 6 launches. And then in this next scene I actually don't see 
much here. If there is something that I'm missing, be sure to leave it down in the comments. But it's right here in this scene. After the camera pans around the box, we actually have a brief moment where we can actually see some text. And what I see as a mural for Forge, which possibly looks like it's done with paint, saying, we won't let you down. And then it looks like it's signed by Rampart with her logo. So what we might end up seeing is another character who actually hates Revenant for who he's killed. So we'll just have to see how that plays out in the next quest, if there are any. Okay, now we're going to move on to two main things in this next scene with, with Caustic and Pathfinder. And what we end up seeing here is Caustic with what I presume is a canister of some kind, maybe possibly an heirloom, but it, it, it doesn't look as fancy as the other legends, so I'm not completely sold. But my second point is, is in this scene, we actually see another instance where the bullets are piercing, and this time it looks like it's piercing through Caustic's gas lines that we actually begin to see that they spray outwards. And I'm sure in-game this doesn't mean anything, but I definitely think it's something they put a lot of emphasis behind, but for what reason do you guys think? And then this next scene is where we see the dope cinematic where we actually see how the bullet is loaded into Sheila and then fired. And then this is my favorite transition of the trailer, where we transition from the bullet being fired from Sheila to Rampart working on her. And just the way they went from it from the action scene to this more laid back scene, it was just awesome. And then to round out the video, we actually see Rampart's logo shine across her mask. And then at the bottom of the video, we see a little Easter egg of one of the little Nessies at the bottom of the screen. And with that, we've covered everything in the video, scene by scene, frame by frame. And what are your guys' thoughts? Are you pumped for the new legend? And how do you think her abilities are going to shake up the current meta of Apex? Oh, and real quick, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to sub for more in-depth breakdowns just like this one. For not only the new weapon, the Volt, coming out this season, but also the new legend. And more trailers in the very near future. But with that, be sure to be the best you can be. And I'll see you in the next one.